感じですね。Okay. Um, drugs? Why is it black? Did you have the cover on the one? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's another episode of Thousand Dollar Car Guy, except this one's going to be a bit different. This is going to be more of a roadkill style episode. Today's episode is going to be about traveling down to meet up with Leon, and Leon's been looking for a personal vehicle for a couple months now. Essentially, he wants to travel the U.S. Let's say. Uh, but he wants to do it in style, so obviously he's picked an early 90s or late 80s Toyota motorhome to be the vehicle of choice. Now the reason is because that thing will get 20 miles per gallon and it's carrying his entire life with him. But right now we're on our way to go visit Leon and then from there maybe we'll get some breakfast and then we're heading down to Miami. So it's like a three hour trip and it's a half hour from me to get to where Leon is. So three and a half hours down, three and a half hours back. I think this thing runs. We're gonna find out. Leon says we're driving the thing back. Leon, you look so excited. It's a hell of an adventure today. So we got a couple supplies, extra battery, there's an air pump, and this craptacular thing. It's a wonderful start to the day. This drip has been leaking into my shoe this whole time, and now it's freezing cold in here. <laughs> we're at a good old Mick Heartburn. Why would you add him on Facebook? That's what I had to do to get a hold of him. Uh, it was a long process. It's okay, you're just gonna block them afterwards. We can. Alright. Okay, so he, he said that he had a bunch of people messaging you. Yes. And you were like... Oh yeah. I need caffeine right now. Yeah, you got like a frappuccino? Ah! <gasps> and Mountain Dew. Oh. oh my goodness! You're off your diet. <laughs> I'm off my rocker. Yeah, he's like, oh I got a bunch of people coming. I'm like, well... Is anyone going to come in the next three hours it's going to take to get there? Here's a fun fact. If you go to McDonald's and you order any kind of breakfast sandwich, you can ask for breakfast sauce, which is basically the best sauce on the planet. But it naturally only comes with the bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. Oh my god, it's a race car. What is it? I don't even know what it was. I think it? it was that LS400. Oh shit. It just had transmission problems. <laughs> Oh yeah, he wasn't trying to rev it out. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't trying, it's probably just transmission problems. <laughs> I have never seen you get such a thing. Dude, this is amazing. You need to get one. Is it coffee flavored? Uh, yeah. Then but, I'm not interested. But there's so much sugar and other things that block the coffee. Sugar! Sugar! It's just like uh, having a... Milkshake? Milkshake. Ooh, milkshakes. A whole bunch of caffeine. We're gonna jump this. That's a stop sign. Oh, damn. <laughs> You know that video where the guy's looking at the Nerf rocket thing? He's like, oh damn, and it hits him right in the face. <laughs> no, but we need to watch it now. I'll probably insert it right now. Oh damn. Ow! So hopefully we don't get killed today. Yeah, so to, so oh. what did he say after you, he said that he had a bunch of people and you oh, said, no, he said, that's I'm great. No, I'm his number one customer. You're my number one customer. Oh. Said, okay. He's gonna kill us first, he said. I was like, I'm gonna bring my cholo. He's coming with me. And you got your gun, so we're good oh, to go. Oh, we ain't got no guns. No gun. <laughs> gum, gum, chewing gum. Yeah, yeah, gum. yeah a spearman. I'll spear somebody with my gun. How long is the drive? It was only like two hours. I told him it was three. Okay. Okay. But I knew you were gonna take like an hour to get here, so I... But I didn't. Slow down then. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I guess we will check in if anything changes. Ah! So this is happening. And we just lost the wiper blade on that one. So. In one and a half miles, take exit 7 toward Florida 934, Northwest 79th Street. So we're about seven minutes away. And please just give me guys. Our destination by 1248 p.m. Oh, no! <laughs> so many uh, things talking. You know, it's a one and a half miles. Ah! So, yeah, we're like seven minutes away from the place. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film too much while in there. Especially because it's been pouring. Yeah, it's been raining almost the entire trip. 
happens. So we'll, we'll keep you posted. If we don't die, we're yeah. going to the hood. Uh, so we made it. But yeah, it's pretty wavy. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that bowing out there, but yeah. And it's definitely dug in a bit. Holy crap. So super pitted. Uh, possible rust. The, it's a goddamn turd. Huh. The, uh, the awning is nice. <laughs> the tarp on the roof is not a good sign. I mean, it's very possible that somebody put that on to protect the roof, but uh, we'll see more in a bit. Oh, yeah, when you stop there, look at that flex. Oh, no, there's, there's holes, holes in it. Oh, my goodness. Is this a mass airflow sensor? Yeah. Runs good. Yep. Ooh, is this live electrical? <laughs> oh. No, it's... Uh, no. Oh, yeah. See, I like the wood paneling, though. Like, if it wasn't all wavy and shitty looking. Yeah. Shader was full. It's so small, dude. I think it's a lot bigger than... Well, it doesn't have both sides. A lot of the campers have it oh, yeah, you know, yeah. running all the way down. It's a nice electrical box. So this is It's pretty bad. rusty. This is all rust. So this is like, on the inside, this is worse than the last one. Don't say that. And the last one was what, 1500? Or 1000? It, it, no, the guy probably would have took like... He said if I didn't buy it, he was going to scrap it. <laughs> this some good electrical. Oh lord! Definitely Dude, up to code. When you put in wood so that this doesn't like sag. Down. So that's a common problem. Oh, there's some sagging. The sagging in the middle, but that means that water is pooling in the lowest spot, which is clearly right there where the big bend is. Oh. Uh, wait, there's more electrical boxes inside there. <laughs> wow. Oh man, I can see the floor, dude. I can see literally the ground. Oh yeah, here it is. I'm gonna look at the back of it, I guess. The Escaper. Hey look, King Kong, Universal Studios. Uh, so, the main goal is to get one of these things that needs a little bit of work, but not too much. Um, replacing some countertops or some interior paneling is one thing. Major structural work, we think we can find one for much cheaper than most people could. So in really nice condition, these things are going anywhere from, let's say 3,500 to $12,000 on the high end if you wanna get one of the Winnebago models. But for what Leon wants it for, the cheapest one will really do. He needs a bed, a shower, yeah. a sink, He's gonna do an electric stove top. Like yeah, a hot so plate. like if we want to take it out for the weekend or something, and simple, just you know, not a, that thing is trash. Oh my lord! The tarp over top of the roof is a real bad indicator. Oh yeah, let's relock these doors. Forgot about that. We're in the <laughs> hood right now. Yeah, just do some filming. Uh, right yeah, there. let's uh, show the viewers at home. So that do not enter sign. That's where all your trash goes. And so this place over here looks like they either make or sell miniature golf. And export little Mexican kids. <laughs> Maybe that's what the barbed wire is for. I think we're gonna pass on this one. It sucks, because the yeah. search continues, but it's better to search <laughs> for a month and find a gem yes. than to buy one of these hunks of crap. I, I'd rather drive out of state and buy something than because, okay, so let's put it this way. In travel time alone, I've already traveled like 10 12 hours, 12 hours, yeah, of driving looking at these things. Right, because you looked at the one oh. last week and then this one, and you said they're only like 20 miles apart from each other? Yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah, so if you had known about it, you could have killed two birds with one stone, yeah. but it is what it is. Yeah, it's, I think uh, it's better to waste a tank of gas yeah, than yeah. fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars in a pile. Yeah, this guy wanted two grand, and it's like, holes. Dude, the other one didn't have holes or anything. Oh man, it makes it look real good. <laughs> the only thing that looked really bad was the side was wavy as hell. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> the AC unit and everything that was, uh, what do you call it? The expand a foam sticking out the side. 
that thunder or somebody's ghetto blaster? Uh, no, that's thunder. Thunder. Anyway, so I guess we're gonna head back home and see where the day takes us. We heard this clickety clack while we were driving away and Leon just pulled this out of the tire and he throws it underneath here and it's sitting right behind the tire. But we're gonna go ahead and do the right thing and throw it out inside. <laughs> well, cause I wasn't trying to, I just pulled it out and went. <laughs> <laughs> Update time. So we had a bit of lunch and cause we were a little depressed on how things went this morning. Leon found another one, but it's five hours in the other direction. Three times the price, but that's okay. This one has already had a bunch of conversions done to it that Leon was planning on doing. It has a pretty decent interior. It has uh, tile floors. It's got an armchair in it. It's got a shower, toilet, normal things like that. Uh, but the air conditioner has been updated. It's had a solar conversion, so solar panels can now charge up the batteries. Uh, it looks really, really nice. Yeah, we should get there about 6 or 6.30. 6 or 6.30 and it's currently 2.12. Two 2 hours left to go. Oh wow. Oh man, we're turning into a nice neighborhood. This is not good for us. Yeah. Mile, we need uh, meth addicts and crackheads to buy from. <laughs> we like... When you pull up and you're like, oh yeah, this guy needs money. Yeah, I don't know if this guy needs money. I don't think he does. I mean, the guy traveled for business. Do you know any poor people that travel for business? Yeah, I can't afford to travel for business. What about business? Business. Oh, I see it. I ah! see it. Oh my God. Don't speak. <laughs> There it is. I'm already there with the zoom. Ugh, can't focus. Well, it's all opened up to get the smell out of it. Oh, the stank. Oh, Lord. Your destination is on the left. It is all opened up. Uh, should, should I hmm. pull behind that car? Or well, I... they're, look, their grass is really tall. I'd park in their driveway. Someone's going to come out and just, you know how to get out of here? The same way you got in. <laughs> Oh, man. And you say you traveled for business in this? Uh, business and a vacation, too. It's got a bathroom in here, too. Yep. Shower, a marine toilet. Oh, what else is in there? Got the, I installed these lights in here, too. Uh-huh. Well, I guess since they're LED, they don't draw a lot, so... Yeah, they draw a lot less power than the old ones. Um, so, yeah, the toilet paper is just hanging Oven, stove... Up. Uh, we got the little control panel here, water pump, water. Yep. And uh, let's see, microwave. We got the refrigerator here, runs off uh, propane or electric. Oh. It's a uh, two way. We got a little freezer in here, too. Yep. It does work. This is bigger than the one you got at the shop. Oh, needs to be clean, though. <laughs> so you got a little um, furnace here, closets. Uh, this is a solar charge uh, charge controller right here for the solar panels. And you can turn them on or off right here if you want to. Hmm. So it can it doesn't have to take in all the time. Yeah, you can disconnect this. This will disconnect uh, the power from the power uh, from the panel. So you turn that off, showing. Day, uh, night time now. See the little moon there? Mm -hmm. Turn back on. Hmm. Uh, That's pretty cool. So, the battery system or the battery bank. It's right up under here with the fresh water tank. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I got uh, four golf cart batteries there. I got the inverter there that turns the DC power from the batteries into AC power. I got it set up where you can, uh, when you unplug it from the house power, you plug into a little plug, a receptacle right in there. You plug that plug right in there and it run off right off the inverter here. Hmm. So you can use uh, outlets, you know, just like you would if you were plugged into the house. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know what used to be here? Uh, another chair, like the one over there on that side. I had two chairs, one here oh, and two, one there. Two yeah. captain's chairs? Maybe yeah, I got can... another one. I got the other one right in the shed over there. Huh? I just took it out and put this table on here. Mm -hmm. 
and the other chair was in a little worse shape than that one, so I took it out. Oh, there is a curtain track. Okay. So we were wondering this on the way over, yeah. with the ones that are like a shower and a bathroom, how do you keep the toilet paper dry? And it's because there's a curtain that goes Yeah, there's a yeah, curtain. Yeah, yeah, that was... <laughs> Gotta have a curtain. Uh, the water heater here, it's been converted to electric. Mm -hmm. Which I will switch right in here for the water heater to turn it on or off. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, it needs a new awning too. The awning works though, I just need a new fabric. Mm. I just haven't done that. I ended up tearing when I went through Oklahoma. It's got a black and a gray water tank. For all your nasty water. I was curious if the the toilet uses any of the excess sink water. No, it doesn't no. use them. Okay. I wonder why they didn't. <laughs> just to save a bit. Uh, how bad is the bottom of the door? Is completely gone? Uh, let's see. Yeah, the cab area is probably the worst part of the whole RV. Got a little rust here. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, see. in the front. Yeah. Let me show you the engine, too. Flip that up and start up the engine. I, that's where I had my generator before. Mm hmm. This is just uh, open space right now? Nothing I've just been uh, storing my uh, sewer hose in here. That's what I've been doing. Okay. Yep. But see, I had my air intake here for my generator and I had an uh, exhaust right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bottom of the doors are gone. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's, it it's Ben's. Yeah, it's probably. Uh, I just uh, left it disconnected. Uh, yeah. uh, had a fan belt on it but when I replaced all these I said I'm not bothering because <laughs> I'm not using it yeah it felt a little rough usually it's been pretty yeah. easy <laughs> it's probably just needs a compressor uh, can you mention the battery disconnect again yeah this is a battery isolator when the engine's on it hooks this battery up to the other batteries in there so it'll charge but when you turn off the engine it'll disconnect the battery so it don't go dead while you're out in the middle of the woods, uh, boondocking. Uh, my, those are only major issues I had with when driving. I had to place an alternator and starter. What do you guys think? Oh, I guess the radio works. 69,000 miles. Oh, I like the handle. Seats are okay, not perfect, but honestly, it is a 1987. Wow, a lot of fiberglassing done inside here. You like this escape hatch into the living room? That's pretty neat. Basically, we're going over the issues and nuances with this because the guy said off camera that wow, I'm sweating real bad. Oh, popped a camper now, I'm sweating. <laughs> so he said that people looked at it, but nobody's offering him as much as he wanted to hear. But we don't know what that price is. So Leon just said, Well, what if it's two grand? You know, <laughs> there's a chance that somebody only ever offered him 1500 and that's the highest he's ever gotten. So, uh, so he upgraded a bunch of things, which is great. But honestly, they needed them to survive anyway. Now he he yeah, like pulled the, out the generator and sold it. Okay, well that sucks because he says that the battery bank can only run the air conditioning for what six or seven hours. Yeah, and I sleep for nine. So yeah, was, uh, yeah. <laughs> so that sucks. Uh, the AC he upgraded, but it should have an AC anyways. So the, all that money you spent is basically like. Right. So the guy's trying to rationalize why this is three times as much as a normal camper that we've been looking at. And there are some things that are nice about it that I like. I personally. like the solar. I like the solar. I like that it has the complete bathroom. Yes. Um, and he said gray water. Oops. <laughs> he 
You said this. gray water and black water tank. Yeah, he's done routine maintenance, essentially. And the stuff that was there is from 1987, so it's 31 years old. Oh, and the cab is shot. Okay, so this is definitely the worst part of the truck, and it's something that basically can't be replaced. The cab has mountains of rust. Both, the, both doors are shot. The fenders are bondo to the cowl. Right, so they're all one piece right now. So if you wanted to replace and the fender, you have to cut it off the car. Also, it's bondo all around the window. So like that first one you looked at, uh, with the A-pillar, that has the same rust. Yeah, so the A-pillars are completely shot in this thing and the windshield's busted, so. So it, the windshield needs to come out but I don't know if you're gonna get someone to mess with it with all that Bondo. There. Right, yeah, I need a glass guy who's also a body guy. <laughs> Not impossible, but is it worth it? You know, that's that's the question. Is it worth six grand? Absolutely not. Does it have value? Of course. The question is, do you want it? I kind of want one that's like in good condition the cab and the outside. If we have to renovate the inside, then, you know. Yes. I agree. Crap. Am I recording? Yeah. Why is it black? Did you have the cover on the lens? <laughs> That's gonna be in the... <laughs> you should leave that. <laughs> Pull out the screen so you can see what you're recording. Oh, is that how that works? Yeah. Oh, I'm not a real camera guy. All right, here we go. They start believing in being a camera guy. You are one. Oh. Why is it black? Well, because the lens is on it. <laughs> All right, so uh, we messaged the guy, tried to be really nice to him, and we offered him a third of what he was asking. And he hasn't responded, and it's basically been what? A half hour, 40 minutes. Yeah, we're tired and going home. Yeah, so we got like a he's, two hours and 45 minutes to drive he's home. He's got about three minutes to make up his mind while we're driving back to the main road. Yeah, if we hit the main highway before... Oh, we're done. That's I'm it. I'm not coming back. Yeah. Eight yeah. hours so far, right? Or yeah, at pretty least. close. So. All right, we out this bitch. We just made it back to the shop. What time did we leave this morning? I was up at 4.30 this morning. Oh, Lord. Uh, what time is it now? Oh, you know what? We left by 10. Yeah. It's 10 or 10.30. Yeah. What time is it now? Uh, 10 or 10.30. 11.30. 11.30. That's a long day. Uh, and as you can probably guess, there's no camper. Um, the guy never responded to the $2,000 offer. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you forget what we were out there for? <laughs> I forgot about making him an offer. Oh, man. It was three hours ago. Oh, That's true. Goodness. So, on the whole drive back, Leon threw some other lines in the water to get some more prospects. And we'll see if anything comes of it. And if something does, obviously, you guys will find out soon enough. There's a mosquito. Right in my hand. All right, we're out. Yeah, we're done. God, this is a long what episode. A us. We've already had dinner. Yeah. Day two. Hey, we're both in red, but you're in your business shirt. Woo! It's business. So it's business time. What are we? On, it's business time. Business time. Woo! So what are we doing, Leon? We're going to look at camper number four or five between both of us. Yeah, but. It's a Winnebago. It's a Winnebago. It's the yeah. cream of the crop. Do you, do you know how long it is? All I knew was the guy got a hold of me and said he still had it. I said, I'm on my way. How far away is it from here? Oh, it's like Coco. It's the Coco exit, so it's not that far. I'm in love with the Coco. Continue on US 1 North for 10 miles. Shut up. Should be good now to say something. Turn oh. left on the US 1 North. <laughs> oh, no. That's yeah. a pretty good deal. Okay, do you want to tell them how much? $3,200. $3,200 for uh, what year is it? 
don't know. It doesn't 80s matter. Winnebago. It, yeah, 80s Toyota Winnebago, which I definitely said this in the last episode, is the the top tier ten to twelve thousand dollar and up normally. And okay, just like yesterday, the pictures look it looks amazing. Really nice, but <laughs> yeah, well, I know the pictures can be deceiving. The yeah. guy says it has no water damage though, which is really all that matters. In that the, is the most important. In thing. the pictures, that had a flat tire, and he said he pumped it up and it's oh. ready to go. Oh, good. The only thing I don't like about it is a V6. Oh, but that's okay. It's a Winnebago. It's a Winnebago. It's not a loser bago. It's a Winnebago. Yeah, it's a winning bagel. Affordable living. I'm all the way up. Well, it should be easy to see. Yeah. Uh, so I was in the back. Of course it is. <laughs> so we're here, obviously. You guys. <laughs> affordable living. Man, you're right on 95. I don't know if I'd want to affordably live here. Ooh, oh, look, man. a lake. Look at that crack house. Oh, my lord. Yeah, we're gonna lowball the fun this motherfucker. I'll have to cut a lot of that out. <laughs> How much is it? You got a pool? Shit, I'm <laughs> the cheap ass motherfucker. There ain't no water in it. <laughs> yeah, there ain't no water in that pool. Play area? Oh my god. <laughs> there it is. Please be good. Yeah, please not be a hunk of shit. Why? Oh boy. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I see a big crack in the back. Dude's got a bike pump. Bring it one, did we? Nope, we had one yesterday. Uh, maybe these extend down. Otherwise, that's a bit of a reach. Gas tank. So I see a little touch-ups here and there. Breaking up a little bit, I couldn't really understand what you were trying to tell me. When I had it, the screw broke on the door, it's one screw, and uh, I didn't really have time to fix it, so I just taped it up. And I was trying to fix it today, but every screw I put in it was on the wrong side. So. Alright. You can always hop through the center, right? Got to. bit of rust there. That bike pump, man, that's hilarious. It sucks because I have a pump at the house, but we didn't bring it because we didn't think we needed it. Uh, what's leaking? The camper. Okay. Uh, yeah, a little bit of rust there. Somebody nicked the side there. Is the... Hey, I think this is normally where the generator goes. Maybe not. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we've been learning quite a bit recently. So, when, it, when it's turned on, you uh, check your levels and stuff, and then you gotta dump it before it's too full. Okay. And then you just hook up. You gotta go to like the campground and you hook it up someplace to charge you. Wooden part doesn't charge you anything. And uh, you just grab your hose out of your back, you know, hook it up, and uh, I guess gravity does the work. But if you're hooked up with power and water, to it and you got water inside and it just goes through your tanks out. But uh, I don't know. My, my original plan if I kept it was to put a generator on it and take it down to the keys every so often. Alright, so no generator. That sucks. Big time. And yeah. you have to be plugged into wall yeah, power to have the AC. Mm -hmm. Is that just because there's no generator and there's I no battery bank so it can't I do think it? So. I don't know what Dude, those are. It smells like cat piss. Like a lot of cat pee. Carpet used to be there, but yeah, well, I probably got. I say we take all that out and do wood throughout it. Yeah. So, so what are your initial? Oh, what is this? Uh, no. 
advanced. All right, let's just close that. Is it supposed to open? Because it looks like it's supposed to. Yeah, because it's a closet. Because I would want to see this thing work. Yeah. Oh, I guess man, these are speakers. Open, open stuff. Open electrical boxes. Yeah. It's it's probably the nicest one we've seen. Oh man. Look, they're seatbelts. I don't know why. <laughs> I imagine there's a panel that goes here. The front's nice. It looks very modern compared to the 80s ones. It's like a Supra, basically. <laughs> this is a nice mattress. So, yeah, what do we do about a tire? I don't know. And this guy. Do you think you paid him just so that uh, we think that someone else is interested? No. Look at them. You think they would deal with his kind? Yeah, you're right. There's a bit of a bow. Oh, but I need to show you something outside. Upon closer inspection oh, of the roof, speaker. this is the lowest point. Oh. It's all coming in, and you can see it inside too. Is it the water damage or? No, there didn't look like any water damage, but I bet you water sits up there pretty good. Okay. Um, I saw a bunch of things resealed in the back, nice. but then nothing in the front or the middle. So, like the air conditioner didn't have any kind of sealant around it at all. Okay. Um, drugs? Okay. What, is, what is this from? Beating stick? No. Oh, from that front? I don't know, man. I think it's about like two grand or something. It needs, it needs about two weeks of hard cleaning. Like, and maybe a couple roach bombs. Okay. But. As far as a hole, what do you think I should offer? I would go with the two. Mm -hmm. And then walk it. Maybe. <laughs> it sucks that generator and stuff's missing. Yeah, yeah again. Like, why are they so valuable? People need them for their own cars or what? I wonder what this is. There's some hokey stuff, man. Yeah, so I'll just yeah, I'll give you two, and if, if you want to wait for the other guy, go ahead. But yeah. It's definitely a lot rougher than it looks in the pictures. Yep. Okay. I agree. So you know what's funny about this thing? This door wasn't closed all the way before, and the wind blew it open because of the cross breeze coming oh. straight through. So I wonder if that's like a trick. Dude, whose dog was eating this thing? Dude. It smells like dog, too. It does. Look at this. I like this. This, like, leather oh, this floor. Not tilt. Oh, there you go. Uh, it was all the way up? Yeah. Oh, some, some ladies here. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> it's still worth 25, I think. Yeah. I agree. I would say it's still worth 25. Holy lord. What if we had a bill of sale, you think? No. No. No, I'm... Um, because the title thing. So the state doesn't care about our problems. <laughs> yeah, no. All right, so just to fill you guys in, and we'll wait a second until we get out of here. All righty, so there's a few things both Leon and I kind of... What's that thing when it really, really bobs your uncle, really... Bobs your uncle. <laughs> really pisses you off, and that's when people schedule other people at the same time oh, yeah. to try and instigate a bidding war and that is the fastest way to lose me 
as and customer. the other people actually. Oh yeah, I like, doubt. But... Yeah. So there was an older couple who came two minutes after us, and were like waiting for us to go through it. I guess they'd already been here. Yeah. And looked it over, and I guess they made an offer, and maybe the the guy said no. I don't know. Anyway, so Leon made him the offer of the two thousand dollars, and he was like thinking about it. I was like, oh man. <laughs> I'm really surprised he's considering this. They're crackheads. They're meth addicts yeah. or something. And that's funny because that's what we talked about earlier that we really like to buy from these people. <laughs> but there's a common problem between all of them. They're bad at paperwork. <laughs> so this guy, oh yeah, clean title. Signed by me, it's good to go. And he signed the back of it. He signed it when he bought it. Yeah, so. That was it, Matt signed it. He stuck with it. it. Now. It means that, like, yes, he owns it, and he can sell the vehicle, but only after transferring the title into his name and doing it the proper way, because right now, if Leon bought it and had that title, it's garbage. They're not going to put it in his name. It's now value is parts, essentially. He yeah. can't title it. And then, because these people look like they're living out of the car next to them and not the Winnebago anymore, which is a little disconcerting. Now it means if Leon was to reapproach them and say, hey, I'll even pay for the title transfer. I just need you to go with me. they will be like, no way, man. I can't go into a government building. I can't take the time to do this. It's, it's your problem now. And now he's stuck. So that's what we're trying to avoid right now. There is another guy who's supposed to be coming to look at it. He sold his motorcycle so that he can buy this thing. Like he's coming with cash tonight. And the agreement originally between Leon and the guy who owns it is that if the other guy doesn't take it, he would sell the Winnebago to Leon for $2,000. And then his wife got involved. Yeah. She wasn't crazy about $2,000 because it was going from what, 3400 or 30, 32. 3200 It's not that much lower actually. $1,200 off of a $3,000-ish vehicle. <laughs> A third, yeah. So, I would say that we're taking a gamble and leaving and seeing what the other guy says because you guys know as I do, the crackhead's going to tell him, hey, I got an offer at two grand. If you can do any better, it's yours. But if the guy has any intelligence whatsoever and he sees the title, he'll walk away. Which may mean, in a day or two, Leon could get a call that says, hey, we got a duplicate title come up and give us two grand. So we're leaving right now in hopes that the deals all fall through, but we'll keep you guys posted. That's where we're leaving off for now. Did I miss anything? I mean, that's it. Yeah. That's it. It's a wrap! <laughs>